Welcome to Make a Path Presents. I'm Ronnie Hayes, and today let's talk about Negan, or the actor playing Negan, confirming there's going to be multiple kills in The Walking Dead Season 7 premiere. Now, here's the thing. Before we get into this, I'm going to leave the link in the video description. You're going to have to go and do your own investigating because you can't always believe these sites. Now, I'm not saying they're lying, but I'll show you a problem right here. A lot of these sites uh, have people contribute articles. Now, here's the thing. <laughs> Some of those people have whacked out theories. They take people out of context. They're always misquoting people. They make something seem crazier than it really is. I know recently I've seen an article that said, oh, you know, Gimple said this about The Walking Dead, and he was just taken out of context. Uh, here's what pisses me off. This article does not post any resources at all. It doesn't say this is from an exclusive interview with the actor. It doesn't say this is quoted from an interview he did at Comic-Con on the panel behind the scenes feature in a different news article online. For example, when I talk about Entertainment Weekly, I always cite that source so you guys can do some fact checking. These people did not. I can't find it. I scrolled through, through the article a number of times, but basically they claim Jeffrey Dean Morgan says, and I quote, Negan just doesn't kill one person in the premiere. Now, he could be taken out of context as if he's saying, oh no, it's not just killing one person, meaning he beats people, he tortures people, he just terrifies them. He could mentally terrify them and play games with them uh, for half the premiere. And if that's something that Jeffrey Dean Morgan is talking about, then yes, obviously Negan doesn't just kill one person and leave. I can absolutely see how they can take him out of context. So I want to be fair and put a warning because we all know how clickbait gets. Now to close with my thoughts, here is where I'm on the fence. You guys know by now if you are, you are uh, subscribed to this channel. I dislike the idea of a double death because it's the first thing you think of. I've said it a hundred times already. You know, it's just the easiest way to top one death. Here's the thing though. I put my foot in my mouth a while ago. I talked about, and this was in season four. Uh, it's problematic because I can't see the characters kneeling down without being tied up. I couldn't visualize that scene because I feel like the characters would try to do something. They would say something. They would act. They would plead anything. Each of these characters would just be like, or somebody would just be like, you know what, Negan, fine. You, you put your foot down. We get you. I get you. You don't have to kill one of us. The only reason we bucked back to begin with is because you threatened to kill us from the start. And they did do that. So they can say, hey, your guys tormented us. We fought back and killed them, you know, and shit spiraled out of control. You don't have to kill one of us. We will work for you. We'll da 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 da. So in my eyes I figured they would at least have to tie them up because you know someone's gonna get pissed off in the comic book it's different because you got panels and uh, I don't know the way it's visualized it just it has a different vibe to it you can buy it that they're not tied up but in the TV show I feel like or at least back then I felt like and I still kind of feel like they wouldn't just sit there and take it they would act out even if it was to be emotional and not to fight and buck back they would do something that would piss Negan off and now I'm thinking man with the blood on Rick's face if he didn't get punched he could even be saying like let's say Negan picks Glenn and uh, he's standing in front of Glenn or they drag him out a little bit Rick could even start to say you know what listen this just spiraled out of control. We don't have to go down this road, yada, yada, yada. And in mid-sentence, Negan could just take a side swipe and remove half of Glenn's jaw, sending a piece of flesh flying over and hitting uh, Rick in the face. And then Rick just stops talking. Eyes go wide. He's stunned. His jaw drops. Because at this point, there's no healing Glenn. Even if he stopped, his jaw's like shattered. Uh, I think something like that would be vicious, you know? Now, given that's different than the ending, so if you're going to pipe up in the comments, Comment section. We already know it's going to be impressionistic, so don't expect the same scenes from the end of season six. It will be done slightly different. They already showed us they don't have a problem doing that in the season six mid-season finale. I'm stroking out again. But anyway, so I'm thinking there could be a more involved. We've seen Daryl's rug blanket thing draped next to the dead body. It looks like there is either a ring or a watch or nothing. <laughs> it could just be prop bone. 
in the blood. So it looks like, and even from the way Negan says, the ones who are left, that just does not make sense if they didn't kill more than one person. So this is tricky. I will tell you my final thoughts on a double death. It's a slippery slope. Anything, even corny ideas, can be done on screen visually to perfection. You can really, truly turn someone around and be like, well, that sounds like a dumb idea. And then when you see it on screen, you're like, whoa, whoa, I stand corrected. You guys did A+. Uh, But right now I'm going to stand 70%. I don't like the idea because I feel like it's too problematic and it's just too easy. 30% of me feels like this could actually become something else epic that we see in the world of The Walking Dead. Like, this scene could just be crushing having a double death if they do it right. And uh, if you go back and watch, you know, season five, you look at Maggie and Sasha together. All the shit they go through, Maggie loses her father, then Beth. Sasha loses Bob, and then she loses her brother. Imagine that connection they have. They go out, they're out there looking at the storm that they all came together. Their rock bottom moment, they came together, weathered the storm together and here comes Aaron he shows up and uh then the music box works you know so imagine them at that point in their life and then imagine them in season seven after Sasha loses Abraham and uh Maggie loses Glenn that would definitely bring those two characters together in another huge way and it would kind of be a callback to where they were back in season five, you know, or season, yeah, season five. So give me your thoughts and opinions in the comment box. The only way to get some of these videos done is if I'm not on camera, because I got a jet. I got a lot going on. I'm, I'm so far behind. I got my own comic dropping in this year, so I'm, I'm screwed. (laughs) Anyway, take it or leave it. I love you guys. Thanks for the support. Feel free to leave your thoughts and opinions in that comment box. I'm done talking. It's your turn, and I'm pointing my finger at you right now. Subscribe now.